what we're going to build now is the equivalent of an RS NOR latch. Now this is an inversed circuit, so it's actually built a bit backwards, so it's built as a NAND gate rather than a NOR gate. Oh. So what we're going to build is the equivalent of an RS NOR latch in Minecraft. It's basically a little memory cell that remembers what gets input into it. Uh, in this case we're going to have two inputs, one to set and one to reset. So if we go in here, we're going to put down a end, and we'll put a not, and then we'll put a another end, and then another not, and then for now we'll just put an activation module there and there, just so we can see exactly what it is. Now you can condense this when you actually build it into your things, but just so we can see what's going on, we'll do it like this. So we're going to grab the end here and put it into the not. Same here, into the knot. Then we're going to grab each of the knot gates and put it into these activation modules, like so. Then we're going to grab the outer activation module here. We're going to put it into the opposite AND gate here, like so, then like so. So you get this crisscross pattern. And then what we'll do is we'll grab these two little pulse activator things and hook it up. I'll just call them buttons. So we'll grab the two buttons and we'll hook them up one to each like so. And that should be it. If we hit the button you'll see one side's on and one side's off. And every time I hit this button it's not going to change but if I hit the other side you'll see it's changed now. So now we've got this cool setup where we can remember a state and we can have multiple of these going in somewhere. Um, if you want to have multiples going in, one thing I do suggest is this is a inverted setup, so you'll need to actually disconnect these. Uh, if if uh, I'd usually just keep one reset, so say that's the reset, we'll keep the other one and we'll take it off there. And then what we can do is add another and somewhere and input it into that and then input that back in. So that does mean that we can add another activation module and just imagine it's a big long button, at the moment it isn't, but they're both inputting. So if I hit a reset, it should reset. And then if I come over here and hit that, you'll see it changes. And then if I go over here and hit the reset again, then hit this one, it changes again. So both those can then change this. Um, in what sort of scenarios? Well, there's all kinds of different scenarios. Um, but that's the basic setup for an RS latch. Um, this is made with AND gates, so it's a NAND gated latch. Um, but the way that it's set up, it basically works the same as an RS NOR.